Hi there, welcome back to Tyranny. It's Judgment Day and we are the law. Actually, it's Smith's Day and we're in a whole house. So, Time to uh, lighten my step. In uh, Lithian's Crossing. And yeah, we, we just want to get an overview of, about the situation here. So that we're informed if we are asked to judge a situation. So, uh, let's talk to Mistress Sophia for some... Uh, <laughs> nice judgment day. <laughs> hey there. What a pleasure it is to see you in my establishment, Fate Binder. It is always an honor to entertain someone of your standing at Lithian's mistress. If you have need of entertainment or company for a short time, then we look forward to fulfilling those needs. How may I and my entertainers be of service to you? Well, first tell me more about the establishment. Lithian's mistress is started as a safe place for people to come to drink in secret, but eventually it evolved into a gathering place where drinking and uh, her eyes twinkle as she considers her words, it evolved into a gathering place where drinking and fornication were both common activities, everyone needs a way to relax and I provide one for them. What brought you here to Lithian's Crossing? I was one of Lithian's mistresses, of course, and where Lithian went, so did I. She was very adventurous, and not really the type to settle down. I may not have gotten all of her attention, but I did end up with a nice business, and I've been very comfortable. And if I had to share her with various men and women around town, I was willing to be generous with her time. So Lithian was a her. Interesting. Like women seem to be in charge in this in this world. Hmm. How much do you charge to partake in the entertainment? Price of all my entertainers is one hundred rings for the night. If you would like specifics, please speak to the one you'd like to hire. They can tell you about themselves and what they are particularly good at. She smiles. But each one of my beauties will give you your rings worth. I guarantee. Uh, all right, let me ask you something else. Do you have food and drink? We've got plenty to eat and drink, if your desires include those of a less carnal nature. Let me see what food and drink you have yours for sale, then. Oh, the basic stuff. Nice. Yeah, well, then, let's talk to the girls. Let's see if we're going for these carnal pleasures. But I mean, we're pretty... Yeah, um, boring as a fate binder, but still. And we're always afraid that someone could use some evidence against us, of course. Sotika, the young woman smiles, her eyes widening with innocence. Welcome to Lithian's mistress, fate binder. She says, blushing lightly, my name is Sotika. <laughs> Are you here to teach me the ways of the world? Um, hmm. Tell me about yourself, Sotika. Sotika's face blushes bright red, and she turns her head, covering her mouth with her hand. Me? she asks quietly, her voice shy. Why do you want to know about me? I am a simple girl. I know nothing of this world or my place in it. She looks into your eyes. Are you here to teach me? Oh man, they, they are also role-playing, right? <laughs> what can you offer that the others can't? If you would spend time with me, I will play Novice Sage in the Burning Library. She steps closer, her breasts brushing lightly against you. I am lost here, Fatebinder. If I don't behave, I will be punished. She exhales lightly and looks around. Do I need to be punished? All right. <laughs> I will return. We're not the Punisher type. Well, maybe sometimes we are. Uh, let's, let's find out more about us and the girls here. Timo, good day to you, traveler. My name is Timo. The dancer greets you while slowly gyrating her hips suggestively at your approach. Her eyes flash brightly and she smiles, moving her hands in a welcoming gesture. Are you in need of a companion? Tell me about yourself. Timo dips her head demurely and looks at you coyly. The past has no interest for me. She speaks in a calming, dulcet tone. 
I like to think about here. She points to a spot between her breasts and slowly traces her finger down the front of her body. Now. <laughs> what, what can you offer the others can't? <laughs> Timo's mouth widens into a smile and she puts a hand demurely to her lips. She leans forward, motioning with her other hand for you to move in closer. I will perform the oath breaker for you. She whispers the words, the heat of her breath caressing your ear. I could make a sage give up his books if I wanted. <laughs> All right, we'll see about that. I'll talk to you later. Can we also speak to the guests here? No. There's Lorid. Let's talk to her. Or talk to him, rather. Welcome. Welcome to Lithian's mistress. The large man flexes his enormous biceps. Is charcoal skin glistening in the light? What can Lorid do for you? Do you need company today? Tell me about yourself, my life story. Sorry to say that it's short and boring. I had a happy childhood. Nothing bad ever happened. I grew up to be big and strong and never had any health issues. I approached Mistress Sophia about a job because I like what and who I do get to do here. <laughs> Straightforward. What can you offer that the others can't? Everything and more. Lorid lets out a hearty laugh. Haha, <laughs> but my specialty is the Vendrian swell. Let your imagination run wild, and it's even better than that. Uh, I don't think we'll go for the Vendrian swell, thank you. But it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice they are including that as well. I mean, someone might. might might play transgender or um, might play a girl or something like that it's always good to include that i mean with all the the violence here this seems to be a sexually freed world like there's all kinds of um yeah sexual relations here is this because evil has won <laughs> what do you think no, please don't comment. We'll get banned for that. I'll probably ban the whole video for that. <laughs> God. Oh, that game, that game is pretty, pretty crass. I mean, I thought so about Pillars of Eternity too, but this game is even um, more colorful. More color colorful. Galum, good evening. The tall, thin man smiles at your approach, and welcome to Lethian's Mistress. My name is Galum, and it would do me no end of pleasure to serve you today. Tell me about yourself. How did you end up here? There's not much to say, really. Oh, like the others, uh, right? Galum muses quietly for a moment. I am from the north and was traveling with a performing troupe. When we were beset by bandits near Lithian's Crossing, I was injured and lost consciousness, and when I came to, Mistress Sophia was nursing my wounds. The rest of the troop died in the fight, and I had nowhere to go, so the mistress offered me a position. She knew my performing skills would come in handy. It's the best job I have ever had. Ah, all right, what can you offer that the others can't? If you want the ground to move and feel the walls tumbling down, I'm the man for you. I'll give you the Earth Shaker's delight, and trust me, you'll never want to hire another performer again. Maybe later. And maybe later. Maybe later. <sighs> Stepping lightly. This game. This game. Visiting a whole house can be fun. Not that I've ever been to a whorehouse, but this seems to be a fun place to be for the for the people that live here. That can afford it at least. And also seems to be a good job for them. Uh, if it's true what they what they tell. If it's true. It might not exactly be true. Maybe Mistress of Sophia has some dark spell on them. We have spoken to Haki and Bronze. Now let's actually cross the river here. I think, was it possible? Is that the bridge? Yeah. There are the Oath Bounds. 
Hey there, settler. Mm, and this? The river is commonly used by merchants bringing their wares to Lithian's Crossing. All right. And some trade route. Ooh, something we can practice. practice. I'll try. Cheese and fish. Who are you guys? Stone shield, earth shaker. Hmm. Let's have a look. Mm, the Serene Sanctuary. Oh. <laughs> Serene Sanctuary. Um, I mean, in our backstory, we did something against her. I, I forgot exactly. I think we banned her. And um, so she might not exactly like us. <laughs> this could be interesting. Let's go in. <laughs> Can't do that. That's a difference to the friendly whorehouse. Maybe we'll fight. Let's see. And I think in... I think you might be able to recruit her if you're not um, if you're not doing what we have done. There's Serin. Yeah, she has that portrait, so it it might be that you can recruit her. She's a bard, I think, something like that. Settler, a cat, some scholars. So she has taken some settlers into her um, house, so she might be giving them refuge. What is that she's doing here? I'll right click to lock. Stand together, ta stand tall. So she's some kind of tank. Eh? Let's talk to her. Serene. A young woman stands here surrounded by a group of villagers. She speaks to them in soft, dulcet tones, holding them hypnotized with her hand motions. She wears an ornate headdress that surrounds her face, its forehead inset with an enormous red gem. The headdress flashes as she speaks, and you are unable to tell if it's a trick of the light or the gem in it is actually glowing. She's swept up in her oration and seems completely unaware you've arrived. It takes a few moments before you realize she was also in the Scarlet Chorus camp in Vendrian's well. She opens her eyes and looks at you over the heads of the people gathered before her. Oh, look. Father has returned. Have I gotten out of line? Have you come to punish me? Am I a bad girl? Or do you just want to use my power? Her face takes on a mock serious demeanor as she speaks, and with her words you, you hear the sound of a breeze rustling through the forest. It's a shame... It's, ah, uh, no, it's at the same time calming and distressing. The girl smiles. Have you already forgotten me, Faithbinder? Do you remember? You let the disfavored kill my followers. The flock of Sirin. The Archon of Song. <laughs> her voice drips with an acid you feel at the back of your mind. Her eyes harden. And this is what we did. When Sirin, the Archon of Song, used her power to enthrall people into the Scarlet Chorus, her abilities worked too well. After a disfavored soldier attempted to enlist, conflict broke out between the armies. We had the enthralled recruits violently suppressed and forced out of the army. Yeah, I mean, some things have to be done, Sirin. You can't destroy order. She steps forward, the crowd parting before her. They turn and eye you confrontationally, some of them interposing themselves between you and the girl. She looks at them, rolls her eyes. When she does, the burning pain in your head ceases. Ugh, if I wanted him dead, do you really think I'd need your help? She looks at you again, a mixture of frustration and boredom, fighting in How her features. Sweet of them to try and protect me. Apparently, they don't think I'm as dangerous as you did. I suppose you're gonna tell me I can't go collecting followers again like before. If some people want to worship me, is that really such a bad thing? Is Cairo so insecure to worry about a little competition? Look at me! Do you think I seem dangerous? What harm can a 15-year-old girl cause? I'm only a child! Her smile falters and she looks down. Her hand moves to the headdress, her thumb tracing the edge of it along her jawline. She looks back up, the hard look back in her eyes. Oh, for once we don't believe she's young. She's as young. <sighs> For a second, she's probably pretty dangerous. <laughs> I'd say it 
it's annoying, but don't you think it's kind of flattering to have everyone wanting me so desperately? Kairos, the voices of Narat, Tunon, you? She winks. She would probably have a, a YouTube channel in this time. Going for beauty vlogs and philosophy. And singing, of course. And a flock of people admiring her. And she, she certainly has a nosy voice. She has like some kind of... It's a nice voice, but it's also a little bit annoying at the same, same time. It's very well done how she talks. So it, it really is like that. It, they described it. Hmm. <laughs> now this is a little bit um, unneutral. This is not too fearful. What are you suggesting? Never mind. I'm just feeling a little paranoid. Past guardians have shown themselves to be a little more interested in me than entirely necessary. But now to a more important matter. There is something you can do to assist me. If it doesn't involves if it doesn't involve breaking the law, her mouth opens in a perfect O shape and the sound that pours out is captivating, entrancing. It dampens the ambient bustle of the hall until it seems that nothing exists but her voice. From the corner of your eye, you see Verse cup her hands to her ears, turning her head away from Serene. My helmet. Uh huh. The ruby headpiece on her brow flushes, as if in warning. Oh, <laughs> because we don't have enough law, we have to do it. And uh, what should we say here? At your service, Archon Sirin. Yeah, that that would be um, how we would make it as a law person. It's about the service, and it's about her title. You discover that Sirin's helmet is locked behind her head with a complicated mechanism. You want nothing more than to bash the lock apart and free the Archon, satisfying her command. Uh, are we? But we know deep in ourselves that she cannot be trusted, right? We can drool, we can back away. We can hold our breath, focus on controlling our body. That is uh, what we would do as the law. Really? That's it? How disappointing. It was worth a try, I suppose, though it appears to have been a colossal waste of effort. She sighs and gives a sheepish smile. I hoped you would assist me in a delicate matter, but it appears you're no use to me at all. Keeping up the act can be a bit tiring at times. I've been the songbird for so long, I've forgotten how to be anything else. Hmm. Well, we could recruit her, as I said. Um. That would be interesting, of course, but we already have Verse, and we haven't played the game with Verse, of course. This is a blind uh, let's play, so, um, I mean, we're sticking to the guys we want, and we, we don't want to have someone manipulating us. Uh, yeah, I'll come back later. Fine. I'll be here if you need me. There are worse situations to be in. That was pretty interesting, eh? So, um... Uh, let's leave this place for now. Let's note down there's this is Serene's place and if one of us dies we might need her. <laughs> but for now we are sticking to our troop. Steel hardened troop. <laughs> Very steel hardened in the case of Barrick. Not so steel hardened in the case of um Verse, but yeah, I mean we we've met her. We we've liked her. She's a good girl. Even if she was with the Scarlet Chorus. So, um, for now, thank you for watching. Uh, next time we'll go to Eldian's house. We'll visit Vintara, the Moonrise Market, and um, I'll find out all about all the things here, and then go to the Old Walls. There's time then. So, um, 
Happy to have had you here. It's Judgment Day and we are the law. Happy gaming to you. This is Emmanuel Can signing out.